All right, Fredericton, welcome to another episode of the Integrity Minute. I'm your host, Louis Vandervoort, and the show is hosted and sponsored by Integrity Junk Removal and Demolition. And today we have Stephanie Mead. Stephanie, welcome aboard. Thank you, Louis. I'm really happy to be here. Excited to have you. So yeah, just uh, just tell the, the listeners and the viewers who you are, what you do, and uh, a, a little bit about uh, your day to day. Okay, well, I'm Stephanie Mead. And I'm the president of Serenity Wellness here in Fredericton. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I'm a daughter. I have many, many roles, but the most important one for today is the president of the company. And we're quite large now. We started as just a clinic and we just recently expanded into home health. Awesome. So I'm also a born and bred Fredericktonian. A lot of people don't know that about me. Nice, nice, that's awesome. Very cool. So, so yeah, tell me, tell, tell us a bit about uh, the services, break that down for people. And, you know, the, that's really exciting with the new service that you're offering as well. <laughs> so we offer registered massage therapy and registered natural therapy, um, mental health counseling with some social workers, and we have a dietitian on staff now as well. We also do yoga and in our home health division that just launched in June, we offer personal support care, respite care, transportation, nursing services. And we're starting to get into an area called companionship where we just, we can send someone in to help sit with, maybe it's an elderly person, maybe their family's across the country and they can't see them because of the pandemic. Well, we have someone who just goes to spend time and that can look in a variety of ways. That can be, maybe they're doing their nails or they're just doing a puzzle together. It can be anything. Oh, that's really that's cool. cool. Hmm, that, that's really neat. Very cool. So obviously you're, you're working with a lot of, a lot of people and answering their needs, you know, coming up with new services and, and serving people that way. But I would imagine you interact with, with a fair number of businesses. So what, what's your, what's your favorite part about working with fellow business owners here in the area? We're all very passionate people. So that just fills me up when I get to talk to another business owner and they're excited about something. Well, that just makes me feel excited. And then when we can actually come together with a good collaboration and actually help people, it's just very exciting. And it just makes you feel good, which is frankly important because it's been a really tough couple of years. So anywhere you can find some joy, it's a good thing. So speaking to other business owners, it's very joyful. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of energy in the community. That's for sure. I love it. Very cool. So what, uh, what do you think is, is the best kept secret in Fredericton or what's something that people should, uh, should know about? Uh, so years ago, this restaurant opened on the North side and we tell everybody about it all the time. It's called Wollastic Wharf and it's won a lot of awards, but that's not why we go. It's always this incredibly great experience. Like the customer service is amazing. The food's incredible. The presentation, it's a nice intimate setting. It's not this big, huge place. Although they did just add this really nice patio onto it, I think earlier this year, just to give more fl like floor space. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful little gem. My husband and I, we go there all the time for our dates, anniversaries, whatever. We just, we love it. And I'm always telling people, if you really like seafood, if you like really good like gourmet dishes and things like that it's the place to go awesome awesome yeah we'll have to check it out i i love this because i get a bunch of ideas of, of different places to check out so it's uh <laughs> it may be maybe more selfishly motivated than anything else <laughs> very you cool definitely, definitely take your wife on a date there lewis it's really good <laughs> sounds delicious sounds delicious uh so so going back to to working with other business owners and and uh you know, companies here in the area, what's your favorite way to connect with people, you know, refer, you work on referrals, work on networking. What, what do you kind of, what's your method for that? Honestly, I call them and I introduce myself or occasionally I'll have a client who will just mention, Hey, this company's doing this. That would be a really great partner with Serenity. And I'll reach out. I usually call and just say, and I'll introduce myself and see what we can work out. And it usually works out pretty good because I can't really do a lot of the traditional networking stuff now just because of the pandemic. So I had to get a little bit creative. So I ask for referrals from my own friends and family whenever I need something. So now I'm just doing it for business collaborations. I'll ask, 
where people go or where they're getting services. Like if there's something that we hear is coming up, I go searching for it and I reach out. And I, I love it. I love it. Yeah, that, that's huge. I mean, pick, picking up the phone is, that's, that's a great way to connect with people. Great advice. Great advice. So um, what, you know, obviously we're, we're enjoying uh, doing this podcast here and we'd love to have more people like yourself on the show. So, so give us some uh, recommendations here of people that we should have on. Well, I definitely have to recommend Marie from East Coast Chiropractic. She is a wonderful, wonderful affiliate of mine and my personal chiropractor. So I just love her. Awesome. Lucinda Richard for Lucinda Richard Photography. She does a lot of the serenity photo work already. And she's just this incredibly talented, passionate person. I just love her work. Awesome. And there's Nate Ecker with Movement Media. He did a lot of the Serenity videos and he just does gorgeous work. I love what he's able to capture for us. Mm -hmm. And my most recent affiliate that we just connected with is Alessa Martin from Jumping Jacks. That's a great shop if you've got a family. So cool. Awesome. They're my go-tos right now for referring people. Very cool. Very cool. Some solid referrals there. And to wrap it up, Stephanie, tell us about your first sale, either in the business you're in now. Um, you know, it's, it's a little bit different. You're not, you're not probably in sales as much, but, but a sale, you know, that that's memorable to you. <laughs> so actually Serenity was opening on June the 4th, 2018, but I was in the office and the phone rang. It was that Friday, the first Someone had seen an ad for us opening it up and they're just like, I realize you're not open till Monday, but I can't move. Can you please get me in today? I'm just around the corner. So I booked him in because my background, I'm actually a registered massage therapist. And he came to the clinic. I didn't have a debit machine. We didn't have internet yet. But he brought some cash, gave him a treatment, and he ended up giving us our first review on Google. So that was our first official sale before we were even open. That always stuck with me because it just was like almost like a sign we were on the right path to open this thing up. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And what what a journey it's been since then. What a journey. <laughs> well, I appreciate really appreciate you having having you on here and uh, and look forward to checking out the the wharf as well as uh, connecting with the people. So Stephanie. Thanks for, thanks for coming on and uh, stick around here and we'll uh, chat for a second after. All right, thanks. All right, guys, this has been the Integrity Minute with your host, Louis Vandervoek. Look us up if you need any junk removal and, uh, and definitely connect with Stephanie if you have any needs that she offers.